Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Nick Hansen. Alongside me, I have Lance Trot, and we're here for the St. Paddy's Day Meltdown Round 2 Front 9 coverage. First off, I want to thank Missy and Dale Ryden, along with Ryan Higgins. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here today. After round one, we have Pat Blazik out of Denver, Colorado, 992 rated player, sitting in first place at seven under par. After him, we have a three-way tie, all players at six under par. Nick Hansen out of Denver, Colorado, 1,012 rated player, looking to make a move. Followed by Sean Sullivan out of Longmont, Colorado, 979 rated player. Followed by him, we have Joel Freeman out of Greeley, Colorado. Shot six down as well. Looking to make a move here. Let's see what we got for the round two. Lance, I'm truly excited for this. How are you feeling about the second round? Well, I think uh, after that first day, we had a little bit of cold weather, and today it's a little warmer. And I think we're going to see some lower scores. Yeah, I think we're going to see some good golf here today. Uh, Pat's up first here, just going with that safe approach like we saw from Tyler yesterday. Um, going to be on the left side of the fairway here. You going with the big hyzer here? I am going with the hyzer again today. We'll see what happens. Trying to go outside the tree? Definitely trying to get outside the tree. Outside. Do a good looking shot there, Nick. I did clip that tree on the outside, but still in the middle of the fairway. Can't complain with that. No, no. What's Sean doing here? Going up the middle, playing it safe. Oh, kicks it off the tree. Yeah, looks like he nicked that tree. He's going to kick straight left. Should be in bounds still, though. Yeah. There is an OB line on that left side. It doesn't really come into play, but it runs all the way up to that tennis court there. Joel looking to give himself a little better lie than he did yesterday. That looked really good out of the hand. Beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty much right where you want to land for your attempt to get an eagle. He's going to have a good chance. Yeah. So uh, I was looking through the scores from yesterday, Lance, and I think you were the only person in the field to three that. Is hey, that true? Hey, I did get a three on that one, Nick. It was pretty uh, pretty good start to the round. That's got to be a good confidence boost going into uh, the next 17 holes. Yeah, yeah. I wish I would have followed up the rest of the tournament that way, but I didn't. I didn't do so well. Anyway, back to the action here. Patrick, looking. Uh, looking oh, he hooks it into the tree. Falls down in bounds though. He's probably gonna have not a bad shot to look for his four. I think he'll be pitching out probably. Oh, he landed. Behind I think he's it. behind it a little, if I remember right. Okay. What are you doing here? Are you going for it? I'm not going for it. I'm trying to get around that same tree I hit yesterday and just try and get up there to pitch up and get my four. What's my plan from back here? And Joel's looking to go for it out. Oh, the yeah. To the right. So, as you can see, this is that big hyzer look you get um, if you get it up there far enough. Um, and he's definitely looks pretty good out of the hand there. He's throwing a pretty stable disc there. Yeah. Came up short again, just like yesterday. Definitely came up short and had a definitely a better look than yesterday, but he's still gonna be up there to get his birdie. I would say. Sean he going out over the water. Oh, lands just in bounds, right by the basket. He's looking to start with a four here. That's pretty good. Pretty good yeah. there. Yeah. So it looks like he might actually have something here. His front knee. Yeah, that tree's gonna get him a hard time. Uh -huh. Does he throw it in the water? Um, it says OB. He did. He threw it right in the water. So this hit this tree to the left of him and then actually trickled down into the OB water there. And that was his par. That was for five right there. So he's looking at a bogey at best. Yep. What are you going with? Um, just a little approach shot there. I had a little opening through the tree. Uh, the clipped, branch? Yep. Clipped early. Ah. Um, but I got a little farther up in that gap than I thought I would, so... Joel just playing it smart and lay up and take his easy four. That's a birdie on this hole. That's pretty smart. Well it's two played. days in a row for him. Two days in a row. Well played. What are you at? 30 foot? Yeah, just inside the circle there for my birdie as well. Very nice death putt there. Nice, nice spot there, Nick. It's a better start than yesterday. Yeah, a lot of the three strokes better than the seven. That's yeah. pretty good. All right, Pat here for bogey. About the same distance. Oh, it doesn't, oh. doesn't give it a chance, really. Left it under the rim. And, He's going to tap in for seven. That's a tough start to start the round. Get Definitely. Some strokes back or yep. early. His first couple aren't that easy, so. Well, Pat's a really good golfer, so I'm sure he'll bounce, bounce back. Definitely the ability to. There's some birdies out there for him. Lots, lots of birdies you can get. So we had uh, three birdies and a.
double bogey on that hole to start. Yep. And the lead changes just like that right on hole one. Yep. So Patrick's now in fourth place, and there's a three-way tie for first going into hole two, two here. Wow, just like that. A lot of holes can change out here. Quickly. Yeah. With all the OB out here, everything like that. <laughs> Most of these holes, you can birdie and you can bogey. So That's it's a pretty good layout. I'm going with that PD2 here again today. Big hyzer. I'm going to land a little bit better than yesterday, I would say. So. Yeah, looks like he threw a little harder. Sean here he's going. He's going more straight route, it looks like. He throws like the hyzer flip. Oh, what? And he's going to catch that uh, light fixture there, and he's going to bounce LB. So. That's really unfortunate. It's uh, not what you were looking for off the tee there, but very unfortunate. Joel giving himself a good tee shot, probably a good approach. Yeah, he's, he's in a good spot again. That tee in from the left side, though. Here, the tee oh, no, that's the uh, tournament director said we could tee from the sides of the tee pad, give or take a foot or two. Oh, so oh, he, was, he going was going for it. Wow. It's a pretty aggressive right. play there, Patrick. He was close, though. He almost bounced in. Yeah. Ooh, Sean pinched by this fence here. Yeah. That, that's that's a, really a tough spot. That's a great shot, I would say. Oh, clips that tree. Yeah. Man, that's, that could have been really, really good. He should be able to get up and down and get a bogey at worst, I think. Yeah, he should be able to get up and down from there. I've got another sidearm approach again today. Throwing a raptor this time because I was, you know, about fifty. I was about fifty feet closer. So you leave it. You went a little long on this one. Well, I have to run the back side of the circle there. Not bad though. Yeah. Joel going with a gator. It looks like. Yeah, I would say that's probably a gator. He misses the tree that he hit yesterday. Latest okay. correction. He's Gave himself a putt in the circle. Yeah, looking out about maybe 25, 20. Yeah. Not bad. If you guys didn't watch yesterday, the white flags around the basket, that's about the circle's edge on every spot, every basket. So Pat from a knee. Yeah, that was an interesting approach. Throwing the sidearm there. I wonder how close he got. It was hard to see. Oh, he nestles his zone right up next to the basket. Yeah. He yeah. throws that disc so well. So well. Very confidently. Ooh. Pat, another shot from the knee, giving him a chance, but no luck. You looking at birdie here? Looking at a three, about the same putt as I had last hole. Oh man, great start. Yeah, great start. Definitely uh, looking to start that way for the type of talent that's on this card today in the lanes. Yeah, you guys are playing for the win. This is a pretty good tournament to win. I mean, Joe's won eight out of the last ten, and he's not in the field anymore. So it's really anybody's it's game. Anybody's game at that point. So we got a tap in from Joel there for his birdie as well. Patrick I would say a tap in for him, you yeah. know, from 20 feet. Pat for bogey. Sean for bogey. And uh, we got a little bit of a change there for sure. Two people at eight under par. Pulling away, Nick and Joel, looking at hole three. You making any changes from what you did yesterday? Um, so I'm gonna th I'm throwing the same rock again off the tee here. Um, decided to throw that one instead of my other one just to be just to throw a good shot down the middle is all I want. Ooh, pretty low. Definitely, it's 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 short out of my hand. Um, so definitely low and into the ground. Like hundred foot short of where you want to be. Yeah, definitely. He's definitely short. Joel going sidearm. It looks like he made a nice correction from yesterday when he caught that tree on the left. Oh, yeah. He's going he's yeah, to like so that up shot. Very nice position to be in. Sean here throwing the backhand as well. Probably throwing a fairway driver, it looks like. Fade nice. Just lands just before the out-of-bounds, and he'll have a decent look for his approach. Patrick here throwing the backhand as well. Looks like a mid range, maybe. He's got some good turnover there. It's coming back. Yeah. yeah, Pat has some good distance on his throws, so mid range makes sense to me there. So I'm probably about 250 ish out going for this from here. Uh, and I'm catch the branch? Take this little hanger. Never came back in. Never had a chance after hitting that. Well, that's tough. So you bogeyed this one. Yesterday also. Uh, yes, sir. And, okay.
Okay, so you're looking to bogey at best now. Oh, and Sean doesn't give it enough either. So typically I would throw my gator on this shot and... Dude, Why did you not throw your gator? My gator is sitting in the water still. Oh, okay. So... So you can't really throw a distance in the water, I would say. Yep. Um, so straight out of bounds there off, off You're my... throwing five here. Um, six. Throwing six. Oh, man. Okay, lay it up next to the basket. And puts it one under the basket there. I'll be taking my double bogey. Seven. Triple bogey seven. Triple bogey seven, yes, correct. That's pretty tough hole three to have. Yeah, that's not... Jordan, really an more. interesting forehand approach here. It just slides over the sidewalk inbounds. That was a interesting approach there, Joel. Looks like Patrick also going to sidearm. Puts it real close to the basket. That's where you want to be. That was a great up He's looking to get back on track with Birdie here. Sean throwing his approach. That was his fourth shot because he threw out of bounds. And Joel... Putting for birdie? Yep. Nice goal. Nice. Good start. Nice birdie, Joel. Really good birdie. It's a great start. Three birdies in a row. Yeah, good turkey. Damn it. Sorry, Dale. And you're tapping in triple bogey. So there's a big swing on the leaderboard. <laughs> it's a tough one there. Big swing. You guys are tied, and he gained four strokes just on that one alone, right? Yep. Man. That is correct, Lance. And Patrick with the birdie. So we have one person on the lead card right now under par after three for uh, the round. Coming into what I, again, think is the hardest par three on the course. Joel lining up the sidearm again here today. Um, probably going to get a little more turn than yesterday, I would say, to try and get to the basket. Yeah, it's, you know, it's farther than it looks. That he's looks pretty good. At, oh, he wants it to get down. Oh, so he's gonna go. He's gonna land a little right there. Yeah, he's, he's probably just playing for three now. It looks like it does. Yeah, he's definitely. Oh no! It hits and he stays in bounds, fortunately, which is good. Yeah, because he's good. close to the OB over there with that that crick. And that trajectory of that disc didn't look very promising. Sean hits the same, or no, not the same, but he hits the main tree in the main fairway tree in the middle. Ball straight down though, so he should have a decent chance to get his bar. You're flexing a forehand. Yep. I mean, threw about the same line as yesterday and got all of it. Oh, oh way down. Yeah, oh, that's really nice, nice neck. So I got on the other side of those pines. Not sure where it is off the tee, um, but knowing I have a putt for sure. That's a, that's a yeah. great bounce back drive after that triple bogey on the last hole. Oh, and Pat, this looks nice. He's going to be outside the circle right, I think. Not bad for that errant drive, no. though, to give yourself a 40-footer. Yeah, he's going to be up there looking to get his par. Joel pitches it Just right under the basket. <laughs> throwing the perfect sidearm with his gator and his leg. Gator around, one of the two. So I'm at the top of the hill there, probably about 40 feet. This? I like gave like a half run. Yeah. Tried to pitch it because... With an elevated basket, the OB is pretty close. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Your basket height and going past it. I'm pretty confident I'm looking at that and laying it up myself. So, uh, to give it a chance, that's showing some confidence in yourself. Yeah. I, I mean, after that seven, I needed to, uh, I knew I needed to start doing something. Yeah, you got a few strokes to catch up. I mean, already, so. But in for par, not mad about that on that hole at all. Yeah. Plus, I mean, coming into this round, there, it, the leaderboard was pretty close. Uh, including the second and third cards, you know, and the fourth card even. The players were within four or five strokes, and yep. on this course, anything can happen. So you don't yeah, know what right. other players are really doing. You could be getting caught from behind also. Yeah, you're right there. So we're on to hole five. Um, we're through four now. <clears throat> um, Lance, what would you do on this today? Oh, I threw a big old turnover shot on this one today instead of going up the middle, and it worked out a lot better. Made it made the hole a lot easier to cut off all that area on the right just to throw down the water. It's kind of like what Joel's going to do right here, I would say. Yeah, he's just getting some turn on that disc around that tallest tree. It's going to land pretty much a similar area to day one, I think. 
think so as well. Maybe, um, no, he got a little further, it looks like, down the fairway. Yeah, it looks like farther shot. out. Yep. Yeah. Are you going up the middle again? I'm here? going up the middle again. Oh, we got joggers. See, it's a lot nicer day out there today, too. You could you know, feel your disc a little more. Did you leave it low? Did you get some skipper? No, not much. Straight into the ground again. Oh, okay. So. Patrick, he's going to go up he's the middle He's also going well. up the middle, yep. That was a pretty clean looking shot. Definitely. Gets out there a ways. That's right where I want to be. That's yeah, very up the middle. Very ideal of the spot to land. Sean's going to follow suit and go up the middle. Hi, Sully. Yeah, Sully. For those of you who don't know, Sean, his nickname is Sully. So if you ever hear me refer to him as Sully, that's who I'm talking about. <laughs> so I'm just throwing the I'm throwing Heisinger out into that field here just to try and try and get my four. Yeah, I mean, yeah. at this point, that's pars again, what you want to play for. So, threw a good shot. Definitely set myself up for a look to pitch you up. You got around that tree? Yep. I'm on the back side of it, but I'm far enough. So, we'll have a look. Slowly going high also, trying to get around those trees. Give himself a cut for birdie. And that looks good. Yeah, it looks like he got in the circle. About 20, I would say. Patrick probably throwing the same shot, I would say. No, he goes low. Low. Interesting. So, oh, he nice. skips right under that tree. Nice. Get, he's going to look at 20-footer, maybe. That's what I would say. Jogo and grenade. Is that, is that how you grip a grenade, Nick? Uh, or do you I, hold your thumb inside? I put my thumb on the plate there. It looks like he's doing kind of like a crab That's claw. That. Pinch. Yeah. That is a good shot. Worked out very well. Nice looking shot, Joel. Yep. That's the same approach he took yesterday yeah. on the hole. And yeah. He got a little more distance out of it today. And he's going to probably look at a pretty easy routine putt for himself. You're pitching up, going to take your par hopefully and move yep. on, right? Yep. Got about a probably, you know, 18 footer or so for par. Oh, Sean, just to the right of the basket. It's okay. I think he's still going to take his par. There you go, Pat. Patrick. Way to battle. Keep fighting. It's a tough start for him. And, you know, to keep some, get some birdies on the That's card. Right. It's, it's good. Yep. Good job, Joel. Five, firing in a three. Get a birdie on the card. Keep going. Four he, out of five. He started. He's he's hot right now. So he's That's, gonna be he's gonna be hard to catch at this point. I mean, these, these aren't easy holes to start either. No, no. If anything, I'd say this is the harder nine. I would agree with that. I think some of the uh, par fours and uh, the par five, especially on the back, are definitely uh, scoreable for uh, the pros, I would say. Yeah. Joel's got a five-stroke lead on the card currently through five holes. The only one under par as well. The we only one mention. on the card under under par through five. Yeah. So, like he, we were saying, he, this he is came a tough to, course. He came to play today. Definitely. You always expect him. Yeah. He came to play. At the top. Going with that same sidearm again today, it looks like, off the tee here. He's going to go with that high route again, I would assume. And there it is. And he gets around the trees this yep. time. That's exactly right where he wanted to be yesterday. Yep. It's right there. Yep. Got the full flight out of the disc there. That worked out well for him. Definitely. Pat going mid-range, I believe. Oh, catches the early tree in the middle. Yeah, and I think he just dropped down, so he's just... It's going to be tough from there. Yeah. He can still get his par. And you are following him right into that same tree. Oh. Straight into it today. I threw a different disc today. Um, thinking uh, with the wind, I needed to throw a little more stability. And as you can see, Sean throws a pretty clean shot with the tee. Definitely. Throwing, uh, what do you think that was? Challenger? Yeah. No, he's probably throwing a buzz there. That buzz mid range. Yeah. yeah, he's you know main disc craft thrower. And he's, he's he's got a lot of game with those mid range discs. So you got them. Patrick just laying up there on the other side of those trees. So are you laying up or are you going for this? Is there um, any way you can go for this, really? So I have a good look through that gap there, as you can see, and wow. I am going for it. Oh man! And you get you got over the water. Into the inbounds? Inbounds. Wow, what a shot through those trees, Nick. That's that's really impressive. So walking down the fairway here, they a couple so of spotters said it was sure. OB, or like people that were walking. Oh, so I threw a bounce. provisional from the uh, OB line there. Yep. And solely before that 
came up short, and so does Patrick, and they're going to have to play again from the short side of the OB. Yeah. That's tough with these, you know, island greens where you have to stick them or you're throwing from where you're last in. Oh, maybe a little errant shot there by Joel. He's, Joel catches that tree, but he stayed in bounds. He stayed in bounds, though. He's not going to have much of a putt, I don't think, from that side. It's going to be, if anything, it's going to be tough. Sean pitches over, gives himself a look for bogey, I think. Wow. Patrick. Walk through the tree, sit down. Okay, he's going to have a putt there. Well, Joel does have a putt, it looks like. It's going to be straddled out to the left. Oh. oh. Wow. Oh, he's a fire. What a start, Joel. Nice putt. What a stunt. That's what I expect to see out of him from his putting, though. I mean, oh, it's so good. It's so fun to watch. At the end of the second round, or end of the first round, he was a little off. Yeah, Sick three, dude. Yeah, watching it on film. That was dope. This is what I expect to see out of his putts. Yeah, they're um, dead center. Like, perfect height, usually. Practice shows Patrick from a knee. Doesn't it's like he kind of like nicked it. that branch in his. Um, a tree follow. hangs down, so it's tough. I it's in the way. It's tough. Pat, shake it off. Move on. Sully in with a bogey. All right, again, we have only one player under par. You got a birdie on that one, though. I did. Get you back to even. Nice, yeah. Nick. That's a good, uh, good birdie to get. So a hole seven here, a little uphill hole. Most players are going to be throwing that um, sidearm, I would say, for right-hand players. Uh, I bet we see at least one backhand on this card. Definitely with Mr. Sullivan. Yeah, Sully is a backhand thrower. He can throw the sidearm. He just doesn't quite trust it yet. Which yep. I try to talk him into it more and more. So one of these days he'll get, a, get his days. confidence in it. Yep. And you're throwing that Raptor? Yep. I threw it a little wider today. Um, in the circle. Maybe right at circle's edge there, yeah. Definitely yeah. yeah. not a putt, though. Yep, so you see, like I said, going up the right side with a backhand. Yep, there's that Mando over there that he brings into play throwing that. So. Yeah, it's a more, more congested route, I would say. Definitely. So three out of four going forehand. Like, you know, if you, if you have it, you, that's the shot. Definitely Patrick the catches shot. a tree. Joel caught a tree. Still a more open route, I would say. Yeah, they both hit that one tree you got to miss that's on the inside. If you're outside of that, you're... And like Joel I missed a putt. We just saw Joel miss a putt. I didn't know if we would. <laughs> that was a little deeper, Lance, but... Patrick I... with a Scooby. Oh! Nice oh. shot, Pat. Patrick. I don't know if he's been watching Brody or not. Maybe. Maybe. Get nah, some inspiration. Pat's been playing a lot longer than Brody. <laughs> And Sully looks like, you know, pitching one at the basket there, really yeah. running it. That tree was kind of obstructing his putt for sure. You got a, the real the real chance here at Birdie. Only a real chance. And he's still nice yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, trying to climb my way back here. Get one back on him finally. Get myself under par. It's tough, you know, when you see him just birdieing away, you, you, you got to make yours. Just like a machine. Here he is, top of the circle there, it looks like. And there you go. Sticks home for par. Very punch roll. Looks like we're going to have Sean tap out here. Oh, oh Sully. Just left it high. Yeah, it was high. Got that top top nub and kicked right out. Yeah, and on these baskets, you really got to hit them pretty center. Yep. Any left or right oh, high doesn't usually oh. catch, I would say. I like these baskets, though, because they catch good putts, usually. Definitely. I would agree with that. So, we uh, have two players under par now. Yeah, that's a good turnaround. Uh, we're going into hole eight here. Um, this is one of the holes I would say I like the, you know, the most on the front nine. Um, it's a gettable hole. There's a lot of different routes. Um, and, you know, it's just a good, like, view hole, I would say. Throwing the hyzer here? Throwing the hyzer again today. Um, you and I had a conversation before the round about where I should throw it. And I went with the above route, oh, like you suggested. Yep. Listen to the caddy and park the shot. Very well done, sir. Very well done, sir. Nick, that's what I like to see. Out of you. Joel throwing the flex forehand up the middle again. Um, he went outside the last tree. Okay, and he so, threw a great shot. Yeah, it was. That was great. Gorgeous shot. to watch. What's Pat doing here? Is he going up the right side? Yep. yep. 
low. He went with the low route. Yep. And oh, and he caught the branch. He got the same one I caught yesterday. So yeah, that's right. It's what you kind of try to miss. If you miss it, it's good. If you hit it, it's it's going to be tough. Risk yeah, reward on that shot. Definitely. I think both routes are there above and below. Yep, I um, agree. And that's the one branch. If you miss it, you're going to be up there for a putt. Sean caught early, and he throws his zone approach and leaves himself 20-footer. Yeah. So hopefully he can get back on track, make a putt from that distance. Yeah, it's be a good par putt. Yeah, get the confidence back going. Yep. Goal for birdie. Never a doubt. Never a doubt. Very nicely done. Good correction from yesterday. Yeah, and way to get back on the birdie train there after not getting the last one. So. Yeah, it's tough when you miss one or two out of the first eight. He's rolling on this front nine here, I would say, today. Yep. No damage on this hole. Everyone's cleaning up the pars, and you're going to tap in on a nice birdie. Yeah, I would say uh, yeah. best, best tee shot of the day so far. <laughs> Hopefully we keep that rolling. That's good. Good to get on track with a good tee shot. Yep. You know, even if it takes eight holes to get a good tee shot. All right, so another one of the tougher uh, par threes out there, I would say. Yeah. Um, Real tight be, OB on the left by the basket and long. Yep, it's a pretty. It's like a kind of like a low ceiling tunnel shot. Um, it's very low ceiling. It's a lot lower than it looks because you're playing uphill and the branches hang down over it. A lot of people will throw a, I don't know, straight fairway disc. You catch the tree and you get through it. Yep, got through the first one. You're gonna have a putt there. It looks like though. I'm gonna have. Um, I should have a look. Some okay. something. Pretty tough, but. but. Through the same disc. We had some headwind there today, so. Joel to probably throwing the same disc he threw yesterday. He threw a really good shot with. Uh, I think you said a TL. He threw. Yep. And it like, replicates it. Yeah. Almost in the same exact spot he landed. I think. I think it's a little closer today. Yeah. Nice job, Joel. But yeah, a little headwind oh, here today, no. so. You know, you're counting on your disc to turn, and you know the wind might not be the same up by the basket. Yeah, so it's deceptive. So you can also play this right side route, but I don't see very many people take it. I was looking at it with the side arm and kind of trying to flex one under those trees at the end there, or just being up there. But we went to backhand again today. Sean gets it almost pinned high, and he's gonna be just soon pitching up, take his par, move on. Right in the basket. There. Yeah, well, well done. He was three and get out of there. Did Pat stay in bounds on the left there? Um, he did. Okay. He did. So he, he, he gets it through the trees. Yeah, pitching up. So are you running this from a knee, or are you trying to just put it by the basket? I'm I'm definitely running this. Definitely running No, and Joel's as close as he is. Okay, and you're off the cage. Yeah, dude. Yeah, a little short, a little tough. right. It's a good effort, though. Yeah. Pretty tough look from there. A little tight window. Mr. Automatic. Nice Joel with the tap in. Joel with the tap in. That's nine holes right there, right? He just played nine holes. Yeah, we're already through nine, and I think he got seven of nine. Is that what? Yeah, I think he did. Seven of nine holes. That's a great start. Great start to the day. The day. It's kind of tough to watch as a competitor when you're just getting blown away like that, too. I mean, and you're taking pars and birdies. Yeah, it's it's tough. You know, seven under par, two under par, five over, and four over. That's pretty drastically different scores. Definitely. The front nine is going to get you, I would say, sometimes. And it definitely did today for uh, Patrick and Sean. Um, yeah, but the back nine, they're going to turn it around, I bet, and they'll get some scores on the board where they're liking to see the birds. Definitely. I would say, expect both of them to be under par by the time we're done. I, I imagine that's realistic expectations. Definitely. All right, everybody, thank you for watching today. Uh, hopefully to catch you on the back nine. But once again, I want to thank Missy, Dale, and Ryan. And uh, have a good day.